right? I talked about people uh, renting rooms, you know, out of their in their homes so they could avoid foreclosure and also people just moving in so they could survive right now. I want to talk about people moving from their cities, you know, moving from Southern California to Arizona or or from Florida to a Midwest town and stuff. And a lot of people that are migrating, a lot of people that are, you know, picking up the wagon and going west or east are finding out that there's not much hope in these towns. It's not much different in a lot of these towns than in their town they were in. It's just a less familiar town, less family is around. And now they find up and they pick and they move to these towns that there is not really any jobs. And if there is jobs, everybody else is fighting for them. Uh, small towns, when there's no jobs, in case you didn't know, a lot of people know each other in these towns. And when you have a brother and a sister and you work somewhere and you know, you're going to get your brother or sister or uncle or cousin Bob or Tim a job. And that's how it works. It's who you know a lot of the times when you go for these JOBs. I'm a big believer in working from home and, and creating your own destiny. Not everybody's going to follow you know, my advice or think they can make money online or do things from home. But I think that's going to be a huge trend. A lot of these offices and all this fluff, you know, you sit there on a computer, you know, or whatever you're doing from, from an office. Why can't that be done from home for the same company for, you know, $10,000 less, you know, for the company and then also the homeowner, you know, for traveling and headaches and stress and so forth. You know, a lot of this work can be from home. A lot of people are running their own businesses, one man shops from home. You know, like myself, I, I run blogs that help people through foreclosure. And I work from home and I employ two people right now, my son and, and someone else. And um, it's a great little gig and, and we love it. And there's a lot of people that do this type of work. Some people are writers, you know, and they write and they pr produce content for other people on their blogs. And you could be an author and make money right now and uh, contract yourself out. So there's a lot of opportunities, I feel, online. And you should look at different opportunities before you move. And you better do your research on this town and make sure that it's it's a viable option and you're gonna find work when you go there. Because a lot of people aren't finding work when they go to these towns. So be careful. Don't just pick up and move because everybody else is, is moving. Uh, it's not a wise idea until you do thorough research and you've exhausted all your options.